I'm Lauren from the Great Lakes Science Center, and we are happy to bring you this early childhood experience brought to you by PNC Grow Up Great. This is just a piece of an outreach that we've developed to bring STEM learning to families with kids ages 0 to 5 in communities just like yours. First, we're going to read a book, and then we're going to do an activity. Then I have some things for you to do at home. This is Wind Powered Cars, and let's get into our book. The Wind Blew by Pat Hutchins. The Wind Blew. It took the umbrella from Mr. White and quickly turned it inside out. It snatched the balloon from little Priscilla and swept it up to join the umbrella. And not content, it took a hat, and still not satisfied with that. It whipped a kite into the air and kept it spinning round up there. It grabbed a shirt left out to dry and tossed it upward to the sky. It plucked the hanky from a nose and up and up and up it rose. It lifted the wig from the judge's head and didn't drop it back. Instead, it whirled the postman's letters up as if it hadn't done enough. It blew so hard it quickly stole a striped flag fluttering on a pole. It pulled the new scarves from the twins and tossed them to the other things. It sent the newspapers fluttering round, then tired of the things it found. It mixed them up and threw them down and blew away to sea. The end. All right, for our activity today, you are going to need a fan or maybe a hair dryer, or even you can just use your breath. We are going to make some wind powered cars. But to start off, we're just going to test how these things move in the wind. I have some foil and a paper plate and a plastic bag. You can use whatever you find at your house, maybe some cardboard, anything. I'm gonna turn my fan on and test my items and see how they move in the wind. Whoa, oh, the bag is gone. The paper plate, eh, it's okay. The foil flies a little bit more than the paper plate did. But the bag, what if we opened it up? Oh my goodness! All right. Well, now, knowing what moves so well in the wind, we are going to take a car. Any vehicle that moves, whether it's a car, a Lego car, a truck that you have, and a pencil and some tape. This is how we're going to make the sail on the car, kind of like a sailboat. And the sail is going to, the wind will push the sail and it'll hopefully move our car. We'll have to test it to see. I need some more tape. Oh my goodness. All right, we've got this part of our sail done, but we need to put a sail on it. What material should we use? For this car, I have a paper plate, a piece of it, and I have it in kind of a triangle shape. You can also test out different shapes to see if that works better for your sail. I think I'm gonna try the foil. 
Maybe I'll curve it around a little, see if that helps. <laughs> building, building. So we're engineering a sail. You know what? I tested this out already and these cars don't like to go on my carpet. So I'm going to use this tray and see if that helps. All right, I've got my cars here. Now, ready to turn the fan on? Whoa, look at that truck. Oh, the Lego car went a little bit, but not quite as quick as the truck. So maybe the sail is better, or maybe just these tires move better on our tray. So it's your turn to try this at home. Use any cars you have, find any material, maybe some foil or a bag. That seemed to move really quick, didn't it? And a fan, or you can even try and blow on them and see if you can make your car move. So make sure you take some photos or some videos and I cannot wait to see your experiments that you do at home. Make sure you share them with us at hashtag StayCuriousCLE and hashtag PNCGrowUpGreat. And head to our website, greatscience.com, for more resources. And there will be a link in the description box for some links to PNC's website. Thank you again to PNC and stay curious.